Hi there YouTube, this is Sparrow Phil and today I'm going to show you how to um, do multiple things with your Flight Simulator X game. Um, I'm going to show you how to ch add um, uh, cabin crew f um, announcements to your Flight Simulator aircrafts. Um, I'm going to show you how to put textures onto your aircrafts and how to fix a um, problem you uh, sometimes um, face while installing a texture to your flight simulator game. Okay, so first of all you're going to want to um, go to your documents and then go to your computer user. Uh, mine is Acer. Uh, we're going to go on to go program files. It's either program files or program files um, in the brackets times 86. Uh, mine is times 86. You can go to Microsoft Games. Once you go into Microsoft Games, you go to Microsoft Flight Simulator X, not Flight Simulator X. You go into your Sim Objects directory, and there you have your aircraft files, um, where Flight Simulator picks up all your aircrafts. And if you open the Airplanes folder, it should have the um, jets and pro uh, some propeller planes. Um, Mooney Bravo, 747, 737, Airbus A321. Um, see all my planes here look um, <coughs> okay so for example um, how to change the autopilot sound for a 747 uh, but also pilot sound sorry um, I mean uh, add cabin crew announcements now if you for, well, I'm going to do it with for example with the um, A321 you go into sound um, you go into the sound folders and you should um, find somewhere the fasten seatbelt sign button. Now, unfortunately, I can't find it. But if you go into the, the Airbus A321 files and search um, seat belt um, or something like that, um, then it should come up. Um, and if you find the file, simply copy the file that you want to replace that original file. Um, for example, the cabin crew announcements MP3 file. Uh, it is recommended to, that you use MP3 files to replace um, the announcements. So, for example, if I were to record a file right now um, that I wanted to be the cabin announcement, um, I would p copy that file into uh, the f same folder that the um, Fast and Seabout Sign button is, and I would replace it. I would rename my fo file, um, overwrite the original file and create a backup of the original file itself um, otherwise the only way to get it back is to either download it somewhere off the internet or um, reinstall the game which is not ideal um, so it's good to have a backup I just copy it onto the desktop to be honest it's quite easy like that but um, yes yeah, so that's pretty much it you just rename it and the game should pick it up so every time you turn on the fast and see about sign a cabin announcement will play and uh, you don't have to do all the work and it's pretty good for YouTube videos as well um, what you can also do is a non-smoking sign is the same thing so you can set two different things two different announcements one for um, taking off or taxiing one for landing approach whatever you do what you want really and it's pretty useful um, yeah it's easy to find in the 747 folder so yeah okay so um, today I'm going to show you how to add textures to your um, aircraft um, it's pretty simple. Every time you download a texture off the internet, or if you want to modify a texture, um, you simply go into the folder of the aircraft, and uh, you literally just go into. You see the CFG file at the bottom. Um, you're going to want to open that, and once you've opened that, you minimise it quickly. Um, in your downloaded file, you should have a README folder and a textures folder. And, and sometimes a CFG folder. If not a CFG folder, then you should have the CFG file in the README section. Now you t copy the textures folder into the directory here where all the textures are in your aircraft that you want the textures for. Make sure it's the right texture, right aircraft, otherwise it wouldn't work. Um, and then once you copy the textures file into uh, that, you want to go into the CFG file, um, copy and paste in the um, CFG file itself um, and then you can literally go from there S most files have a readme folder but if you don't have a readme folder then I'm going to show you how to do that shortly um, after this quick 
thing I'm going to show you. So um, today I'm going to show you uh, another th another thing I'm going to show you guys is how to fix a common problem. Oh, not actually a common problem, um, but it, uh, how to fix a problem that sometimes occurs while installing a texture to uh, Flight Simulator X. Now, sometimes some people can edit the CFG file and can open it yeah, as usual. However, some people, if you if this problem occurs and pay attention. Um, some people do not have the ability to s overwrite the original CFG file and it says access is denied and you have to either save it at your desktop or any other location. You can't actually replace it. Now, if this occurs, you're going to want to right click the aircraft.cfg file and go to properties. Once you go into properties, you'll see a few tabs at the top and if you go into security, hover over your current user um, and if you, it says to change permissions, click edit. So you're going to want to click edit, and that will open a, another list of options. So if you go over to your current user again, it will come up with a load of ticking boxes at the bottom. And if they're not ticked, then tick them. Because if they're not ticked, then that's your problem right there. I would tick the box at the top that says full control, so everything's ticked for you. Um, Sometimes even the special permission thing at the bottom happens, but you don't really need that for this. So that should be it. Once you've ticked that top box, you can now click apply. And then you can exit out of it. Once you've clicked apply, yeah, you can cancel everything, OK it, whatever you want. And then you should be able to edit the CFG file freely without having to worry about um, not saving it. So you can save it. Make sure you do it all correctly though, because if you mess up the CFG file, then a lot can go wrong. So make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, so um, the next one I'm going to show you is if you do not have a README file with your textures, here's how to. If you only have the textures folder and not a README file containing the CFG copy and paste item, um, here's how to make one and here's how to include it in your CFG file. Okay, so what you're going to do is you see the um, CFG files, uh, for example, in the MSA321. The bottom one is Flight Sim 5, um, and that's the lowest one. So if you go all the way to the top again, you're going to see your um, the first section, um, flight sim.0, says World Travel Airlines, whatever it is, um, well, whatever, really, um, 747, there you go, um, Boeing livery. So if you go into that, um, what you're going to want to do is, if you see the texture location, it says equals 2. Um, for example, in the 747 CFG file. Now, if you co right, copy this um, before editing it, copy it and paste it um, after the last one, but make sure you leave an even gap so you don't mess the CFG file up because otherwise that can be quite catastrophic. Okay, so um, once you've done that, once you've copied it, you're free to edit the copied version at the end. Make sure, for example, um, you change the dot zero to the next number in the system. So, for example, if the previous flight sim um, textures file is dot twenty seven, for example, you're going to want to change this one to dot twenty eight. So it's in a chronological order, and the uh, game can pick it up. Otherwise, the game doesn't pick it up, and it's really pointless um, because it doesn't do anything. Um, once you've done that, you can edit it. Um, here's a few tips for editing. You're going to want to edit your title of the aircraft, obviously, so you don't get confused. Um, also, the UI variation, which is um, going to change the Boeing livery to British Airways. Change the title for the thing to Boeing 747-400 British Airways. You can change your ATC airline flight number, um, but don't change the manufacturer type. Um, or type role because navigation can be hard to find. Um, but once you've done that, you can see the texture part. Change the texture part to um, whatever's at the end of your dot, uh, whatever is after the dot on your texture folder it, that you downloaded. So, for example, here it says texture.ba. Um, and there is, uh, you literally, it says dot .ba, so for example, in the texture equals, you're going to put BA. So exactly the same. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, it would help a lot. If you're still confused, add me on Skype um, at brad.morgan70. 
um, and I'll talk you through it. If not, I'll do. An, um, if there's another problem you need help with. Um, you know, message me, send, and leave a comment, uh, message me, and stuff like that for requests and tutorial videos for Flight Simulator X. And I'll do the best um, I can to help you with these problems because I know what it's like not being able to install textures and stuff, um, or not knowing how to do that. And uh, yeah, some pretty useful things, some pretty fun things as well um, to enhance your flight simulator experience. Just like I said, uh, the um, fast and seatbelt sign sound changed it to cabin announcements. So there's pretty cool things you can do there with your flight simulator game. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, it will help a lot. And I'll see you in the next video I do of tutorials. Thank you very much.